food is, is not something that you consume, but something that consumes you. Every menu that I create tells a story, a sad and, and delicious story. You know, I can't believe the stuff that Chef Paulson is doing. It's like, you know, when you think about his menu, I mean, honestly, this guy is just putting amazing things on a plate. Underthinger is a celebration of life through death and ingredients. Tonight I'm gonna bring uh, Underthinger to Brooklyn because it's my belief that they need more restaurants out here. Originally, yes. Jeg tror den her skal vendes på den led, så det er ligesom en lille pude, den sidder på, ikke? Yeah. Just to give you a tad there in the thing. Yeah. I'm hardly surprised by, by Chef Paulson's style. I mean, it, it makes sense by being completely hands off. He's entirely hands on. Chef, can I get? Um, I thought I brought out a container of. Uh, Anybody water. has a charger? We chef. We okay. chef. Okay, good. I will. Just Wait. a moment. I'll be back. I'll be back. Just work. You work. Good work. Good work, everybody. Welcome to Underfinger. This is our new Underfinger door. Please take a seat. Yeah, let me go get oh, don't touch the door. This door is made out of respect for the great chef Thomas Keller. He has a useless door at his restaurant per se, and now we have our own useless door at Underfinger. Start the evening with the charcuterie glove. This is a reminder that we are all essentially meat. And at the same time, we honor the fashion community of New York by wearing the meat in a stylish and, and a tasty way. You just slide in and you put it on, and this is how you eat it. My second dish is an amuse bouche, dog tongue and testis. I call this dish life is foul because I'm a funny person. Foul, foul. Sea brim fish sticks with carrot foam. And this is served on Lego. The foam is bitter because otherwise it would be too enjoyable. And life is not entirely pleasure. We must struggle. The seahorse is bought in Chinatown dry, and then I rehydrate it to bring it back to life. And then the diner is cooking it over fire at the table. The sweetbreads are very special to me because when I was a little kid, my grandma used to make them in Copenhagen, and uh, they were disgusting, but I loved her very much. So I make my sweet breads in honor of, of the last time I saw her. It was first when I was a private in the Danish military that I became sure I might want to become a chef. I do not want to kill unless it's killing people with flavors. I want to fight the war inside of people's mouths. That is why I cook. And that is why I opened Underfinger to fight that war and also in honor of uh, the traditional food served at Danish funerals. I'm gonna try to get a summer job with them and do a little stage work. I just wanna be in there for like just a couple of weeks. I know I can get some stuff out of them. 